when we are challenged we have to pray when things seem like they are impossible we so I'll be in a temptation I'll find out ways to pray but I will make sure to not be defeated so if I could pray and may find an answer so I haven't seen anything that is not overcome by prayers when you are genuine no we thank you heavenly father for this special moment we honor you for you are with us you are the only one who can to do above what we imagine in this place may everybody hear from you not just by the ears but may they feel your touch so that our lives can be changed may your words change us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Church of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless the servants of God who are here as they said the work you do is so uh, mighty sometimes when the words are limited songs can work I have seen this so many times even when you are you have anxiety or you are anxious when you use the songs you can be healed so songs are the only tools that you can use to hear when everything else has failed uh, I know there are other tools people can use, but usually people like to use music and songs. So I thank God for he has made available that we can hear from the songs. Hallelujah. Amen. Meaning God cares more about our hearts. As we sing, as we feel joyful, he's rejoicing with us. This is why he said it so well that he dwells in the thanksgiving and the praises of his children. Because he rejoices when he sees you rejoicing. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know why? No, ko that. Be, it is because he's our father. Any parent will be happy to see that their, their children are happy. So may God be praised. I was bringing you the good news that the father hears you. The father cares about you. The father is still alive. The Father is here with you. The Father sees the things you are going through. The Father is hearing what you may not be able to hear. The Father sees anything happening to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So all those things he has already seen them. After he sees those things, he waits for you to tell him what you want to tell him. Yes, Praise Jesus. This is something I found very important in this life. The Christian life to have somebody to talk to and somebody who is able to do something sometimes we face challenges and we try to look for somebody to talk to and we go into our contacts in our mind trying to search for that person we can talk to and we find out that the persons we go to, they are not the right people to talk to they are not the right people to tell 
You look at this person and this other one. And yet no one. So if there is anything challenging, it is to face a problem and you don't know where to take it to. It is very, very sad. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. So let's, let's go in the Bible, in the book of Luke. Chapter 22. Thirty-nine and verse forty-six. Luke chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-nine to forty-six. Luke twenty-two, from verse thirty-nine to forty-six. Umutwa wa majambo ravuga ngo Yesu asenga no mubabaro Arasohoka aja ku musozi wa Elayono nkuko yamenyereye abigishwa bibe nabo baramukurikira ashitsaho hantu arababarira ati ni musenge kugira ngo ntimuje mu mosha mabi atandukana nabo ashika nka hotelwa ibuye arapfukama arasenga ati data asanga ubigomba kura iki gikombe kindengane ariko ntibibe uko jewe ngomba yamara bibe uko wewe ugomba mu maraika aramuyereka avuye mu ijuru amuhintege arushirije kwicwa arushirije kwicwa no mubabaro ashishikara gusenga cyane icyo yaciwe kiba Hibitonyanga binini Vyamaraso Vitonyanga Hasi. Amaze Gusenga Avahasaja Ahabigish Kabari Asangaba Sinzi Jwe Numubabaro Arababaza Atiniki Gitumi Musinzi here. Nimovyuke Musenge Nimuja Mosha Mabi Amen. Mani Gheza Gricha. May God bless you. Ora to show us that we should do things with more sin, more so than the angel. Yeah, may God help us to be able to share His word with along with the interpreter. May God bless you all. Imani ba heads akirem ngese. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jambo tu gea uga ni la kuyu mosi. So the word that we're about to share. Ah, muvju kuri da hagazi mugu senga chani. It is about praying earnestly. Ariko. Naji seni, eh, bega ni bivjari birimo, changi ni bin ni bivjari mo. But I called it. Was this part of the plan? Sinzi kura giri gihe muzima. I don't know if that happened to you, where at some point in your life. Ukazaza ni. Where you get confused. Uri hagati na hagati. You are right in the middle. Mugi kogwa. In the work, muri project, in your project, mashure, in your studies, muzima burugo, in your family life, we take it as if it could be a kubak of yours. And looking, looking at what's happening to you, ki wasat ese ibi nivyo changi sibi. And you wonder, is this reality or not? Budya sini hende? Did I get confused? Did I make a mistake? Was I wrong? Did I study well my project that I started? The things I went in, was that the right time? The marriage I'm in, was, was I meant to be with this husband or this wife? There is no one in life who doesn't go through that period of time. Uh, unless uh, what they started was already not right. So one of the signs that whatever you are in is, is true and was right it is the power that hinder you. 
ni ubushomo zibuza kugwanya icyo uri kurakora it is the power that come to stop you from doing what you doing ni uko kuno ibyo tari wibaza ku bantu babikora against you kandi atavyo wari witeze it is about how people would do something wrong to you in a way that you never expected what is sad and what is amazing igikoresho kugira kigwanya icuri kurakora the tools to handle what you're doing akesh uh, many times it is the one that you cherish that you cherish the most that you love the most that thing that is close to you and at some point you yourself you may you may defeat yourself yes praise jesus and that is what will show you that what you're doing is more important yes yavuze ngo when Jesus was talking about salvation he said the salvation you went into and don't think it's like a drug it is very very powerful because choosing me means to let your father to leave your mother to leave your siblings to leave anything and anyone you included hallelujah amen he said, anyone who doesn't do that type of things that person is not is it doesn't deserve he doesn't me. merit me he doesn't deserve me he doesn't deserve me Yes, Amen. So I am who I already described. I am above anything, anyone you included. If you choose to follow me, then you are leaving anyone, anybody you included. And that is the meaning of this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rero utegereza kugwanywa. So you have to be persecuted. Igihe cyose wemeje gukurikira Yesu n'ibigambi yiye. Any time you are determined to follow Jesus and his plans. Kandi bikugwanya. And the things that are up to you. I'm going to repeat it. Ni wewe nyene ugawe. It is yourself. Na abawe. Your people. Na bakunzi bawe. Your friends. Na abo muvukana. Your siblings. Na babyeyi bawe. Your parents. Ni bintu byose. All those things together. So that requires of you you know for sure the principles of this journey. Because when you don't get to know the principles of that journey, off. it is easy to drop out. And also drop out. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Hashim. Amen. It is so easy. It is easy. Because you always face those things. So that's what comes in your mind. When you take your phone, there's nothing else to find. What's easier is to leave these things. What's easier is to leave these things. The easiest thing to do is to let everything go down. That's the plan of the devil. And that he really follows it. He's so good at it. He is so good at it. He puts so much effort. He is so much wise It is so hard for everybody to understand this. Hallelujah. And that's how he has always been. And unfortunately, people don't get wise enough to discover it and Leave that and to defeat it and to continue their journey. And those who are not able, they want to take away these other people who are overcoming. Yes, Hashim. Amen. Those who are defeated, they try to prevent the other people who are able to do it yes, from so going. So right before Jesus rescued 
the Jewish were persecuting him. No. And they said, no. You are not a child of God. Because God doesn't get birth. And he doesn't get birth. How, How would you be a child of God? Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. And he, they forgot that God told them, I took you from Egypt on, on, on my back. Were you being on the back of God being children or adults? Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. So they were, they were already children of God because they're being carried on the back of God. But they, it was so hard for them to understand that they were in the position of being children. And Jesus said, you are my siblings. No, 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 no. Mm. Mm. So you belong to your father, the devil. Because that one, he has always been a liar. There is no truth in him. He has always has been lying. He has always been lying. So he can hinder the plan of God. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. So you call Abraham. So you call yourself after Abraham. But Abraham was the child of God. And that one, Aranz. he knows me. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. So if you are at that time of not knowing exactly if the things you are in were meant to be true or if they're not. So maybe that your time is coming where you will face those challenges. If in the marriage you are, uh, things are so okay. I will tell you are one of the most blessed people on earth. If everything is perfect in your marriage, yes and amen. If in the project you started everything is yes and amen. Nimba if in your studies you don't face any contradictions if in the family you grow up everybody is, is agreeing with you so you are beyond being on this earth Yes, Praise Jesus. So one thing I know for sure. Those are challenges that are normal. There are small challenges. But there are challenges on a higher level. But there are more challenges. challenges. So uh, the trial to anyone will be on the same level. So this is why I want to tell you. So the word of God says so well. After after God reverts to Paul he told him that there is no temptation that you won't be able to overcome because if it was beyond your capacity God will prevent it from happening hallelujah so now when he says that it is more challenging and then you, you follow his principles he will find your way he will make a way for you but sometimes even when you follow the principles because when sometimes when you don't use the principles you'll be beaten up you'll be defeated you'll be beaten up and God will be looking away because he knows you are able to so he doesn't bring you a small issue when you are happy. So you want to keep no, with porridge, you have to get a strong and, and get a meal. You have to be at your level. You have to face the issues at your level. 
Yes, ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Yes, ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Abari ko murashaka gutwara udutwara udutoya, ututwara udutoya. Those who want to carry some Mwarakuze. And yet you grow up live. Reka na nibyo bintu. No, leave that. Kura. You need to grow up. Menya ko mwakuze. They know that you grow up. Mwarakuze. Live grown up. Mwarakuze. Live grown up. Hallelujah. Yes, ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Ya kubanda ya kupigira abana. So don't keep being like Ngara the children. Grown up. Akiri binga na namwe. Receive the things Akiri that are on the same level. Gendera mu binga na namwe. Receive the things that are on the same level as you are. Yes, ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we need to leave the childish things. God has a great plan for us. He doesn't get surprised. He knows that we get surprised every yes, day. Praise Jesus. But when we get surprised, that means we, we are getting new knowledge that we didn't have. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who are studying, may you continue so those who are already started on their project yes, may you continue the journey don't, don't, don't accept to be defeated don't accept you to be discouraged today I brought you the message to, to encourage you that the things you are going through they're, those are reality they are not dreams it is reality those are not dreams just raise up and use the, not the principles you have to use so we can continue our journey. Yes, I have you Praise Jesus. Yes, then Jesus. Then it happened to him. Most reason. One day. He was making himself powerful. <laughs> so from the beginning. Oh, like temptations will come. Satan akaza. The devil will come around. Akamuyango yachiye hano. He will know that he passed by there. Kamuga si umve ahona wachiye na habonye. Pa. He say, I saw where you passed by, and here I attacked you. Watiki gije last week. So they taught us last week the word. Wachiye mi jambo. Dabu kuita mi jambo. Pa. You use the word. I'm gonna use the word to defeat you. And again. Then he left. Be again. Every, the Bible says it. after the devil was defeated. The Bible tells me he left and then waited for him on another time. One day he he went after him and they wanted to throw him in a dungeon, but he escaped. Then another time, so I want to say that the, the battles that you fight today will take an end. They will take an end. But there will be new battles. Oh, don't think that you are done. Don't think it's over. Don't think, don't relax and think it's over. No. So, yeah, at the end of a battle is the beginning of another battle. In a journey of battle. This is why the Bible says it so well that we are on the earth we have to be in the, in the fight all the time those that you overcame today make sure you don't have to, to fight them again those that are over you saw they fight them tomorrow be ready for new battles because the, 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 the tempter he is waiting to, to, to meet with you in the corner so you have to be alert you have to be alert so today Yes, Jesus. He, he, this is the day, the big day. day. That, okay. He, he knew that one day he will face him again. We must rush it. And came that day. I know This is the place where I get and I, I start thinking. Yes, you are woman. That Jesus was a human being. So his godliness. When it came to that point where a human being has to face things at the level of a human being. 
the godliness won't serve. Because if the godliness was to serve, yeah, everything was to go void. Yes, Praise God. So the Bible told us when that day came, he went out. He went on the Mount of Olives as he usually would do. And his disciples, they followed him. And when he reached that place, he told them, pray that you will not fall into temptation. We are going to study about the word of pray. So the theme that we are using, the most important word will be praying. Yes. When Jesus reached his final moment, he didn't fight his battle in a new way. He did fight his battle like he usually would do it. At any time, that will be uh, every time that will spend every time that he will spend time with people, he will go on the mountain to pray. So here we just read that he went on the mountain to pray like he would usually do it. This was the final day where he was supposed to be tempted for the last time. But, but his battle it wasn't a battle of words because he knew that at some point words don't work. So at this time, the devil knew how Jesus was how Jesus, Jesus defeated him, yes. Or how Jesus the previous, defeated the devil. In the previous battle, Satan was defeated because of the word. But now he so at this particular time, the battle won't be, won't be a battle of words. It's going to be a new way. Satan is going to be a new way. So at this time, uh, the word was not a battle of words, but the devil used the, his people and the other people, and he was, he made sure that the sentence was already there. He was very, very sharp. So Jesus knew this. What did he do? So at this time, the devil didn't come to just speak to me. But he put all the tools together. What will I do now? Just praying. Yeah, sometimes you reach the place where people and the words will work and you will just need to pray and you will find that the only tool that you have left is to pray. what does it mean you understood that no one is able to help you fight this only God can make you across when you get at that level of saying God we have all and I don't know what to do and that's when he takes the word yes, amen yes, praise Jesus so you have to know what type of issues you have and the level they are at Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When, you, when you know that there is nothing you can do about them, so the way we have seen Jesus, our master, how he handled them, he, he, he used prayers. He prayed. 
I was going to talk more about prayer. But there was a point where I will reach this. But I want to say this. Jesus told his disciples who had followed him in this journey he said pray so that you don't get tempted. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So this word to not get into temptation. If you try to understand it from its uh, very initial version, translation. It is not to not, not going into temptation doesn't mean, it doesn't mean not to pray to not go, to not be tempted. Uh -huh. It is not about praying so that you don't get tempted. Or it is instead, it is to pray so that the temptation you are in doesn't you to get into temptation. So the temptation is there. You are already in it. Oh, but temptation, it is through what you hear, what you think about, what you see. Then you, have, then you will make a decision that may be defeating you. That's when you are already tempted. But when you pray, so that you don't get tempted, that's what Jesus was telling his disciples. So Luke said the, the disciples who went with Jesus. But when you read in Matthew and Mark, it, it says that he chose three out of these against him. Peter, Peter and John and, and, and Jacob. Th those are the people who were with Jesus at that point. Place. Meaning what? So sometimes you will get a point, you get to the point where people won't understand you. By at some point, you know this person, this other one will be able to handle it. So and you will go with those people. You will say this one. If I call this person, they will and be able friend, to help me. me. This money that I lack, that person will be able to lend me some. And you will use their help. But I want to tell you this. When they reached this particular place, yes. Jesus realized that they were not able to go with him at the next <laughs> level. He said, so you stay here at the level you can handle because you cannot do it. So the only thing I ask you to do is to be praying. So he went at a very small distance. So I, I thought about this distance, like a distance where a stone can be thrown. So I thought if that person is at a distance where a stone can be thrown, you can see them. So meaning the trials that Jesus was going to face, the disciples had the possibility to see him. The Bible says it so clearly. Jesus wept. He prayed weeping. He was very sorrowful. He was praying because of the sorrow. Yeah, he reached the point of praying and, and sweating like blood. So he, he was very challenged. He was in so much sorrow, but the disciples were able to see him. So I wondered why Jesus let them see him, the disciples. 
Maybe Jesus wanted them to see that the things they went into are not drugs. And maybe it was like an occasion for them to see that even Jesus, even if Jesus was God and the miracles that he used to perform at some point you may not be able to do the things that you used to do for others. That will tell you that you are a human being like anybody else. In Jesus and you are so he suffered he, he went through agony but he didn't have help praise Jesus so sometimes you reach a place where even your wife cannot do anything for you Yes, Praise Jesus. And this is what happened to Jesus. He went. And the thing that he did. Where are he prayed. Where are he prayed. So we no, saw no, how no, he no, told no, them to pray not, not to get into temptation. And uh, verse 42. Jesus also prayed. He did what he asked them to do. Sometimes we tell other people what to do, but we are not doing that thing ourselves. But when anyone gets into this toughest moment, others even if they cannot do it he can do it that will be the only way Yes, Praise Jesus. So it wasn't going to be hard for Jesus to pray because he used to pray, but it was hard for him to pray when he was in this uh, hardest moment. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. As I said, praying helps you to not get into temptation, and second, like a praying in a in a worthy way. So, this is what Jesus showed us how to pray earnestly. We can say that there are four things that Jesus did. Do you remember? Do you remember? Like how Jesus taught, taught the disciples how to be praying. When you break down that prayer, you will see that Jesus did that. So you will see that the breakdown will show you that those are the things that Jesus did, except the part that says, please uh, prevent us from being tempted. Because Jesus was not a sinner, he didn't have to ask for forgiveness. But we are sinners. And this is why as we pray we, we always have to remember that we are weak he said father father Father, Jesus said that so he referred to him as father so what type of relationship do you have to with the one that you're praying to yes. is that a relationship between the father and the son if you know that the one you're talking to is your true father you'll be bold to tell him whatever you want Yes, Praise God. Uh, who, who do you talk to? Do you talk to your biological father or your heavenly father? 
Yes, Ashim. Praise God. Tugire data, nimba ni data nyene. We need to tell fa- the Father if he is truly our Father. Ichakabiri. Secondly, ni kondisyo ya senge yemo. So the condition in which he prayed, ya vuzi ngo, nimbu bigomba. He said, may your will. Nukumu ngo, that means maybe the things I'm, I'm, I'm telling you are not the things the way you want them so that means the condition in which he prayed was a probability condition meaning you have the power to, to, to do things the, the way I'm asking or you may not even say yes to what I say because if you don't do it the way I want what am I going to do sometimes we get rebellious so sometimes we go to, to God and we, it's like I, we ask ordering a small child to do what we want but no even when you go to the president you don't order them you don't tell them what to do you know that you may ask and get what you ask for or not. Ah yes, now we are in Mumu. I want you to just share it with us. We are going to be able to And Jesus, he, he was in a human body, and he knew that what he's asking for may be granted or denied. He is about to achieve a goal. So he was saying, "May this cup go by me." Yes, I see my Praise Jesus. Sometimes people go to pray and yet by the end of their prayer they don't even know what they prayed for. You will spend a whole day praying and you don't even know the what you prayed for. Maybe it was in your mind but you never spoke it. Jesus said I see this cup but I'm praying that you take it away from me how do you pray what do you pray for you have to name it and say God this is what I want he has to be concise. God will grant it or not praise Jesus praise Jesus the singer said, tell it to God, Hallelujah. to Jesus. Amen. And the fourth, the fourth thing that was displayed here was humility. He said, may that not be the way I want, but may your will be done. This is what I wanted as a human being but I submit to your will may your will be done so why did he pray because he got into this crucial moment that was very scary to him and many people sometimes will reach that point when we started the project when we started the journey it was easy it was fun it was so sweet. High five, you know, to get senga, yeah, you know, naki jizwe. It was so exciting. We were, you know. I was happy. raised in, in this uh, in this I was given promotion. my promotion, You know, you know what I mean? Big my friend, when the task comes. Uh, it is fun. I could be when you are in the world you start to look at the door you used to get in <laughs> but I will tell you that door will be closed it may be open but yet you cannot go through it Hallelujah. so the door is open but you cannot get out this God yeah, Jeremiah said, mm-hmm. You are enticing me. You, you show me good things, you know. Mm-hmm. Everything was nice, was good, was power, was whatever. <laughs> 
ariko none ubu byakomeye i becomes very tough nashaka kubivamwo i want to leave these things ariko yongerageje ngo ndabivemo yeah, when, I, when I try to leave these things, I feel burning and I can't. So these are the work of God, the salvation, the work in church. But outside of church, and you look at the things you left behind the people that you reached to the places you went to and you weigh them you say I have no choice I remember when I went to study theology even teachers testified about it. At, at my first year, I wondered what, what is this thing that I went to? This Bi the Bible, I read it from verse, I mean a grade five, fifth grade. So the first year, I wondered what I was in. I didn't know what I was getting to. Even if I was successful, I was not feeling it that I was fully in. My, my plan was to be an engineer. So, that's what I was seeing myself do, even my father. Then when I went into my second year, uh, I was like, what if I dropped out? But I wondered, so my first year is going to go void? Thinking how I made it, you know, to Nairobi when they robbed me and they, you know, I was beaten up. So I looked at all those things and didn't feel like just giving up. So when I finished the second year, so if there is anything that I thank God for, it is that, that I learned theology. Theology. Because theology. The things that I earned from that. Uh, because no, no one can understand the, the can understand the things on earth better in a, in a tangible way unless you can understand the bible and god yeah. yeah, the other things, they have their own wisdom. At the end, they will even deny that God exists. So learning about people and, and the systems and everything else, you won't get that wisdom uh, if not from God. <laughs> yes, I see my Praise God. So many of my praises were because I was able to reach my final year. If I didn't pr like, uh, continue to the second and the third year, I won't be saying these things today. Yes, I see Praise Jesus. So when you reach that point where you don't even know if the things you went into were the right ones, that's the temptation that you have to do. Overcome. So we're going into the book of Revelation. Chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. Ndasoma mwizina ya Yesu. Mutuka majamravu wango. 
Yohana yere kwa umwagazi w'intama w'Imana. Mboni gitabo mu kuboko kwiburyo kwivyagiye kuri yantebe. Chanditse imbere n'inyuma kidomba gije kudushasharandwe. Tukimatanije tudomye mwikimenyeso. Mbona umumarayika w'inkomeze nyinshi asemerera asemereza ijwi rirenga ati ninde bibereye kwa zingurura kijya gitabo ngo amene ibikimatanije ntihagira uwo mwijuru cyanko kwisi cyanko wikuzimu ashobora kuzingurura ico gitabo canke kukiraba nanje ndizwa cyane nuko hatabonetse ubereye kuzingurura ico gitabo canke kukiraba umwe muri baba kuru arambare ati ntacurira ehi ntambwe yo mu muryango wa Yuda umunago wo kugishitsi ca Dawidi yaranesheje ngo azingurure igitabo amene ibimatanije ndwi mbona hagati ya ya ntebe na vya binyabugingo bine no hagati ya baba kuru umwagazi w'intama hagaze asa nuwishwe afisa mahembe ndwi n'amaso ndwi nivyo mhemu ndwi z'Imana zatumwe kwama zija mwisi yose araza agikura mu koko kwiburyo kwivyage kuri yantebe amaze kwabira ico gitabo vya binyabugingo bine nababa kuru 24 baca bikubita imbere y'uwo mwagazi bafisi inanga bose ninzavya ziza habu zuzuye imibavu niyo gusenga kwabera baririmba indirimbo nsha bati birakubereye kwabira igitabo no kumena ibikimatanije kuko wishwe ugacungurira imana abo mu miryango yose no mu ndimi zose no mu moko yose no mu mahanga yose ubacunguje amaraso yawe ukaba hindura ubwami bw'imana yacu no kuba abaherezi bayo kandi bazoba abami mwisi imana ishimwe cyane haleluya 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 bira kubereye kwa kiri gitabo no kumena ibikimatanije kuko wishwe usinya kandi ngo wishwe because you are slain ugacungurira imana abo mu miryango yose mu ndimi zose mu moko yose no mu mahanga yose ubacunguje amaraso ya amen ibi nibyo yesu yari karashaka ngo bimurenga this is what jesus wanted to pass by him igikombe cyari cyurupfu the cup was a cup of death igikombe cyari cy'umubabaro the cup was the cup of sorrow. the cup was a cup of ari ki bibibazo nyene biri muri iki gikombe but the issues that were in this cup was your salvation it was my salvation ibi nibyo ari kwabwa ngo mana nimbo bigomba bindenga this is what he was referring to saying god before jesus came on earth this film yari yarazinguruwe imbere yibarayibona this film was already bari barize neza barabura umuntu numwe yoshobora gucungura bo mwisi they had studied and was looking for someone to come on earth no no yes ngarabone kashoboye gubikora and then jesus was the one no mwisi ni kuzimu nta wabone cyari kubasha kubikora because no one else on earth ariko yes ngo but Jesus was the one worthy to do it and he was able to do it praise Jesus and then he accepted time came when he was born today as he was praying that time had come he was in that moment but because of the power of the work he was about to perform and the power of the temptation at his level that temptation was at the level to save the whole world I never heard of anyone who sweated blood I never heard of anyone who sweated blood 
msigara fisi umunyo ibe nimeze ngo umunyo ngaha aguki ariko nta maraso yigeza azi yeah. i used to play basketball a lot i would sweat and i would have like a white things as if i had salt on my so ariko ni bimbirangana yesu yageze gihe none ho haba amaraso But I imagine about Jesus how he was sweating blood like the blood this temptation so if that cup was to pass by him you were going to have your salvation so your temptation that you going to have for you to not go there'll be many people who will suffer because you stopped your journey Anytime that you overcome a temptation no that is not just your victory it's a victory that belongs to many people Anytime that you are defeated in any temptation you are making other people being defeated as well Yes ashim praise jesus na horeni ma michizi kaba sovereign ikaba kama na magambo this is when god will come and become sovereign yes ashim amen kwera kiravuga ngo ibu babare bwawe ndabuze na nabutahura and he will say i feel the pain i understand ibigano gutsindwa but it's not the same as being defeated being defeated will be more painful than going through your challenges so brethren don't accept to be defeated i'm encouraging you to not be defeated by that temptation yes ashime cha praise jesus no matter how big it is no matter how big they were don't let yourself be defeated gutsindwa kwao ni gutsindwa kwa benshi your defeat will be the defeat of many people yes ashime cha praise jesus kubihera kwao so giving up no kuburira abandi imigisha It is blocking other people's blessings. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Instead, understand what God wants through that battle. We have to grow up to the task that God has for us. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are challenged, we have to pray. When things seem like they are impossible, we pray. So I will be in a temptation I will find out ways to pray but I will make sure to not be defeated so if I could pray and find an answer so I haven't seen anything that is not overcome by prayers when you are genuine no and that's when God will come and make ways even when God said just stay still I'll fight for you but people who have prayed, they'll say God we see your army after us they will pray, they will pray. Even, even the gentiles and and uh, Spain yeah Spain now aho bara ngabo yaravuze ngo umve nibitungwa byose byambara magunira ariko turi sonze cha dusenga imistatu so we have to pray for three days Yes ashim. Amen. Jara kozi. So it worked. No bila cyakora. It still worked. Now byagiye. Yeah, I didn't go in with you. Ni shuri mu byawe. The answer is in your hands. Now you have to take correct. You gonna use that answer. Hallelujah. Amen. Iri mu biganza byawe. Yeah, the answer is in your hands. Yes, bavuze ngo ngo ye amaze kugira hamwe ngo ngahotogiwe. Ngo yaragiye. Kwa giza gute? Ngo arapfuka. What did Jesus do? He went and knelt down. So why did he, he have to leave them? Them? At other times, the Jewish will be praying They will be facing the east. So they believe that they believe that their salvation will be coming from the east. Yes, Praise Jesus. So And they will be facing there. They will lift up their hands and they will look up. And this is how they 
their prayers will look like. And anytime they will pray, they will be praying in this position. But today, yeah, that's not how Jesus prayed. Sometimes it requires you to change your position and your prayer. And I saw when you have many challenges, and he said that he's throwing himself on the, on the ground, and he ripped his clothes, and he prayed. Then he said, oh, 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 so you behave according to the situation you are in. Very good. It's okay. It's okay for you to sit down on your chair in the morning. But sometimes you have to leave your chair and the floor. Sometimes you may be crying, even if you, you don't care if people see you crying. If you still care about people seeing you crying, that's still very soft. But you will get in a most challenging issue. You will say, I don't care if I cry. But any time that I'm talking to God, when I'm crying out to God, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to do it. I am allowed to do it. I know it's hard for men to cry. But cry out to be for God. No one will make fun of you. Yeah, no one will make fun of you. Yes, Hashime. Praise Jesus. Yes, Hashime. Praise Jesus. You know, when you remember what you had, that's how you don't get ashamed. Or to dance for God. To sing for God. Or to jump. You will do it anytime. When you know the heaviness of the things God has done for you. Yes, Hashime. Praise Jesus. Yes, Hashime. Praise Jesus. This is, this is why this prostitute woman came and threw herself on the feet of Jesus with her uh, oil and she poured it on the feet of uh, Jesus and she, 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 she dried uh, yes, his with feet with her hair. Yes. So when you know how great your sins were, you thank more. So yeah. the, the, yeah. Yeah. so you yeah. The strength of your issue will determine how strongly you pray. Yes, Ashima. Praise Jesus. Praying. Praying. When he went back there, he saw that they were sleeping, sleeping because they were so full. Praise God that sometimes you will pray with sorrow and they fall asleep. Even during, they slept because of the sorrow. Sometimes when people are very challenged, they don't get to sleep. Maybe they, they pray, they maybe they come to the point of sleep. I will face this challenge. Just sleep. Sinzira. Sleep. Le kanyene chagwane na ucho. Hallelujah. Ula shaka mu bivazo. Abana ba haku fasha kusenga. Abana ba haku fasha ba haku fasha. You've been a challenge. The children will have to pray. But you need to go further. When you you pray, you pray. That no one else has to pray. The things you say, oh pray for me. You will go beyond that and pray for yourself. Yeah, I want to tell people who usually would tell others to pray for them. But they don't pray for them. They will pray in general. But when they're tougher, no, they're not praying for you. You need to pray for yourself. Praise Jesus. You need to develop the heart of prayer. Let us go and pray and pray. There is 
there's nothing else that God wants Senga. you to do. Just pray. Senga. Pray. Go beyond. Chakwindi go at the next Menya level in your Senga. prayers. No Senga. way to pray. Senga. Pray and pray. 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 Sometimes you have to separate yourself in the way you pray. That was a huge revelation. Yeah. May God bless that singer. Yeah. So, when things are more challenging, you leave the crowd, you go and pray on your own. Tell your God. Don't tell your wife. Don't tell your husband. Tell your God. There are things your husband I know your wife may be able to do. But you, on your own, you have to reach the next level. Yeah, your spouse won't be able to do it. Maybe they don't even know, need to know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the disciples fell asleep. Yeah, but he knew the challenge wasn't yours, it was mine. So once you know the challenge is yours, let other people sleep. sleep. Let them sleep. Yeah, don't bother them. Wake up, pray. Let other people sleep. Hallelujah. Amen. It's very good. It's yeah, okay to I, pray with genda, others. Genda, genda. But when they it's more on, challenging, leave. Go, on, go, on, go far on, away and pray. Yes, Let on. other people sleep. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, that's how things work. No, no, yeah, don't be surprised. That, uh, that's how no, things work. No, the no, things no, you started, no, it is no, what no, it is. No, that's how they are. That's how they are. And God knows that it is what it is. Don't think you're telling him new things. And don't think it is just you. It is what happens to others. That journey, other people took it. What challenging you, challenged others. Don't think it's a new thing. No, there is nothing new there. There is nothing new. There is nothing new. When you are in confusion, sometimes when you are in confusion, because you are at the place where you don't know how to handle your problem. Yeah, sometimes God will leave you in that confusion. confusion, no? And don't think God is He's with you in the confusion. the confusion. He He is outside of the confusion. Until you get prepared and you you remove the confusion. Eli, Elijah was the one who went to heaven walking. He was running away from Jezebel. He said that she killed 850 people. Very strong men. She killed them. <laughs> He said, I will kill you. <laughs> Elijah <laughs> ran away, and this woman called <laughs> And he, said, he <laughs> told God, <laughs> she, she wants to kill me. <laughs> he said, God, I'd rather be killed by you than being killed <laughs> by <laughs> Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, that's not, that's not the work I gave you. You're not supposed <laughs> to die. <laughs> no, dying. Dying is not your portion. You, you won't die. Yeah, but God kept Elijah was there waiting impatiently to see God. Said, I'm going to wait for God and ask him how come this woman Jezebel and, but he was the one who chose to run away. 
Because in my plan as a God, your death is not imminent. But when your time comes, you will go in heaven working. So you, but this woman told him, I will kill you. And he ran away from death. But God had a plan for him to go, to, be, to ascend to heaven. Amen. Amen. And he waited for God to come. He was in the confusion. He heard the rocks and the trees falling. And he looked and looked for God. So he, he, there is no God. He saw a strong wind from all parts. He waited for God to come through it. God doesn't come into confusion. So come out of confusion. Then after he left that then came some quietness. Came some quietness. Things were quiet. was so it was so quiet. Then the voice of God came on me. God will show up. Come come drink on your cup. And all the things. Oh. Yeah, you need to carry your burdens. Yeah, your burdens. Yeah, you need to go through them. These burdens. And when things come down, God will come and speak to you. He won't speak through the confusion. But when all those things come down, He will show Himself up. Yes, I'll be sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's stand up as we pray to God. Amen. I'll be saying, man. Yeah, let us pray to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if there is anybody who hasn't received Jesus as their Savior. If you hear, raise up your hand so we can pray if you, for you. If you are following us online today, stand up from where you are as we're going to pray. Yes, Praise Jesus. We are going to pray for those who haven't been saved yet. Pray and raise up your hand. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. I understand that I'm a sinner. And I want to become your child. I despise you for so long. But today I receive you. Be my Lord and my Savior. Yeah, take my hand and walk with me. Uh, remove my name in the book of judgment. Put my name in the book of life. From now on, I'm committed to follow you and to do what you want me to do. In my lifetime, I will follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, you may be going through trials and challenges. Let us pray as you're standing. So that God can give you the strength to pray. Oh, Father, in the name of we Jesus Christ, we are standing before you, before your people. We know that we are on the earth. Then we face challenges. The battles that we have, no matter how many maybe the church battles maybe our individual battles maybe the marriage battles maybe the country battles we call upon you mighty God so you can come so you can touch our hearts so you can teach us how to behave in battles to know how we stand in the battles in many challenges oh we pray to you oh you're the only 
have given us an example. You taught us how to pray. Oh, I beg you. Today, may you give us to pray well. May you teach each one of us to pray. May you give us the power and the zeal to pray. Anytime we face challenges and we cannot pray, I, I beg you that you give us the strength to pray so we can destroy all the plans of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, from now on, oh, I take it to captivity all the in the hearts of these people in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that doesn't come from you, I rebuke it. All oh, the words of this character, all oh, the thoughts of this character, all oh, the bad words that may be spoken, that are not good on the project and the plan, or oh, on your plan, Lord, upon anyone, all oh, those words will rebuke them. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. We call upon them the church. So you visit the CFC. We pray. So you, so you visit the CFC. We pray. 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 So you visit the